Jesse, you as a player, Kiwi and captain, what did that tonight mean to you guys? Yeah, it meant a lot. Um, this, I'm just really proud of the boys. Um, we had a game plan and um, you know, we come together early in the week and decided how we want to play and we're able to go out and, and execute. Um, Madge put a challenge to us about being the best defensive uh, international team in the world and I thought we went out there and we really got stuck in. Um, you know, they're, they're not a small pack or a small team and it was really physical out there but I'm really happy with um, the effort towards our defence. You seem to play with a lot of confidence for a team that hasn't been together for a couple of years. Does that part of it as well? Does that show the talent that you guys have got? Yeah, I think it, it shows um, where our team's at, um, especially our players, you know, our mm -hmm. spine players are playing really confidently at their clubs and, um, you know, they got picked for a reason. Um, they're back at their clubs, you know, being, you know, the best NRL players in the, in the competition and we just wanted them to come in and, and do what they do. and. I thought they led us around the park really well. Um, our middles, I thought our middles played really good. Um, I thought that was their strength. Tommy, you know, their middles are really good and, and our boys really stood up and uh, played well. Michael, given you don't get much time together as a World Cup, <coughs> did you get everything you wanted to get out of this week, including tonight? Yeah, they were really impressive, the boys. I thought from when they first walked in the door, and um, it's, you know, the boys, especially Jess and a few of the more senior players, this has been three or four years in the making of where they wanted to go with the team, uh, and it's just continually evolving. I know we've had a two year break, but to see the boys walk straight back into camp, um, they didn't miss a beat. I thought, you know, the, the guys that have been in and around this arena really took control of the week and they had some really good training runs, uh, and you could see them gel together and the style of how we wanted to play. You know, put pressure on the opposition and you know, they were able to be very strong. Oh, just a word on the new trunks you head out here tonight. Sorry? Uh, just a word on the new players you head tonight. Yeah, I, I, I thought everyone was really strong. I thought across the park, you know, the, the forwards laid a really strong foundation in the first half. You know, and as Jesse said, they're, they're not a small team. You know, they're coming pretty hard at you, so there was a lot of contact. Um, but the execution of being able to you know, put a lot of pressure on the opposition, that's what the game's about. And I thought across all of the players, they all, all all aimed up for each other, and uh, yeah, we we danced around a little bit at the in the second half, the start of the second half, which are things that we can actually have a look at and you know improve on. And you know, I know there's so much more in the in the the group in how they go about what they're doing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to obviously the World Cup. Did you find your long-term answer at fullback tonight? <laughs> I think uh, I think I did. Yeah, I think we did. I should say. Yeah. Um, I think he ran nearly 300. And, 90 something metres, so I'm sure that's a record somewhere. But uh, he was he was strong. Uh, but I thought, you know, I keep going back to they all laid a platform for each other. And you know, Joe was catching the ball on the full off the back of really good kick pressure. Uh, every forward worked really hard in that department to allow Joey to be able to get it and then run the ball back. So yeah, they complement each other in how they were playing tonight, um, which was which was great. Are you quite comfortable if he doesn't play fullback for the rest of the year to chuck him straight back in the corner? Well, he hasn't been playing uh, too often at club land, so if he can turn up and do that each time, I'd be pretty happy with that. So, yeah. <laughs> Jesse, in a, in a physical game like that, what's it like to having Joey running for 400 metres, basically? Yeah, it's just crazy. Um, I thought his performance was right up there with you know fullbacks that I've played with. Um, but I thought the back three helped him out. You know, they were all really good. and. Um, just on the debutants, I thought they were all outstanding. You know, we had four out there, and I thought every one of them, you know, had a red hot go. Did you be surprised at the start uh, you got? You know, after the I wasn't too surprised. Um, we went out there with a the game plan. We wanted to put a lot of energy into our start, and in particular our defence. And now uh, we managed to get get down there quite early and, and stay there. I thought we built a lot of pressure. Um, early and we were lucky to score there and we managed to keep building pressure and uh, run away with it in the end but yeah I thought it was just our start and, and the energy we put into that. Michael, just give you some hints of the challenge to be the best defensive team in the world. <coughs> what does that look like to you in, in practice? Oh, look, I, I think they set a fair standard out there, but we know that we're going to have to continually work hard to, to achieve that. Um, you know, every game's different and different teams will come at you, but it's something there that, you know, history tells you that you need to be strong in that area to be a successful team. So um, we're, like probably most teams, we're setting the standard in what we want to do, and I think that's something there that the players 
you know, spoke about themselves, about you know, how they want to be seen. And it's not so much worrying about other teams. So, you know, we've got to keep working hard at that. Obviously, when we first come back into, um, into camp again at the back end of the year, but they've set a fair standard about how they want to go about things, which is, um, you know, fair credit to the players. Yeah, I thought they were really good. Um, you know, Brandon and dummy half, he had a strong game too. You know, he, he, we all know what he can do there. It's uh, just a shame he probably doesn't play there a bit more times, but he's got a, a couple there that he's in, uh, working with. But he, he was really strong, and uh, Dylan and Jerome were, were excellent off the back of obviously the, the platform that the forwards are leading. But you know, I thought Jerome's kicking game put us into really good positions on the field to be able to execute what we wanted to do. Yeah, obviously the last two years has been really tough for international footy. Um, I think it was, it was really good to get the whole squad together this this week and you know the coaching staff and the New Zealand rugby league brought over. 24 players, I thought that was a really good idea just to get us all together and training together and being around each other and building relationships heading into a, a really important back end of the year. Um, you know, we've got, like we said before, our spine players are all playing really good footy and, you know, they're leaders of our team now. So it's been good to be able to spend some time together and, um, yeah, heading into the back of the year. It's going to be important that we stay connected. Jesse, you mentioned the two years break. I think you said off the field after the game, being part of an occasion like this, even though you know, you know there's a lot of red flags and red shirts out there, wasn't it? You guys have to be part of an occasion like this after so long. Yeah, just really, really proud to be able to come home and be the first rugby league game in New Zealand. Um, obviously, a lot of us haven't been able to get home, but um, it's really nice to come back and, and play in front of our fans. It's uh, the atmosphere. I don't think yeah, there's nothing like it, and uh, you know the Tongan community come out. You know they, they're very loud and vocal, and and all the flags out there. It's um, crazy. I never, you never see anything like it. So it's really nice to be a part of. You know I'm getting getting older now, and it's um, games like these are the ones I remember when I finish. Well, isn't it still amazing everyone come out and see that atmosphere they create? Yeah, you still get goosebumps every time um, to be able to go out there and perform in front of them, and you know the music gets going and they start singing and dancing. It's um, it's really nice to see. It's always good to come back home too after a, a long time being away. It's, um, it's nice to see family too, so it's always good. And Michael, World Cup obviously running in the year. Yeah, what sort of lightning stand is this set for you guys as a squad moving forward towards that? Well, we've definitely set a platform about how we want to play. Um, you know, it's, when we do come back into camp, and I'll get around to the players uh, throughout the rest of the season and just have a chat around, you know, what they took from this game. But uh, you know, I think there's big, in, big steps for, further forward that we can take with the team as well. Uh, you know, there's areas that we'll talk about, and but they've set a platform about what they want to be. Given Mike Wally saw tonight, is this a game that should be a regular fixture? In yeah, uh, uh, definitely. Yeah, like, well, look at the look at the fans. I mean, I'm, I'm back up what Jesse just spoke about. Like the atmosphere was incredible. You know, just to hear the noise and up in the coaches' box, you can't really get it, but it was blaring through the windows. It was um, it was excellent. Yeah, and it's great for the game too, and obviously for New Zealand rugby league. Jesse, just one more on Joey Manu. You've played with some pretty good fullbacks at club level. Where does that performance tonight sort of rank in teams you've played with? Yeah, I said before, it's right up there, just the involvement. You know, he's, he's a different sort of body to the guys I've played with in the past, um, different strengths to those guys, but it was right up there. You know, he's beating defenders one-on-one -on -one and bringing the ball back with aggression. It's, um, it's really nice to see as a, as a forward when they put a kick in behind and you turn around and your full-back's just flying back and just getting rid of people whenever he felt like it. So I don't want to say put a number on it, but he was I mean, he was right up there, one of the best performances I've, I've seen from a fullback. And that's saying something. I've played with some some really good fullbacks and we've got a really good fullback at our club right now and mm. Joey Mann is right up there. Jesse, just on that challenge of being with this defensive team internet strategy, when you sort of hear that um, from the coach, what's your sort of instinctive reaction about what that means to you as a, as a player and as your teammates as well? Um, I, th I think it's exciting. I think competitions are one on defence. We all know that at NRL level, and to get our international team talking like that, just having the conversations around defence being the, the main focus, I think that's a team I want to be a part of, and I think that's a team that 
you know, is going to be successful. So I think if we put our energy into our defence and, you know, our, our boys are all naturally gifted in the attacking department. That when we lock down our defence and do a really good job and it's all about attitude as well, you know, you're part of a good team and a, a good system. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.